So you might have been diagnosed with cirrhosis or fibrosis of your liver. And the only question on your mind now is, is liver cirrhosis reversible? But to answer that, we kind of need to dial it back because it's not a simple yes or no answer. We need to start by going on a journey back in time to understand how we got to this very question in the first place. You might already know that liver cirrhosis is a progressive disease that most likely took a long time in the making, perhaps even years. It is characterized by the replacement of healthy liver tissue with scar tissue. This very scarring is what is impairing your liver's ability to function effectively today. However, to answer this important question, we need to rely on two things. Firstly, the stage at which your liver cirrhosis is diagnosed. And secondly, it depends on the identification and effectiveness of interventions on addressing the underlying cause. Now, addressing the underlying issue that caused your liver cirrhosis is one of the most important steps. Because if the cause is ongoing, that means that the damage is ongoing too. So how can the destruction be halted or slowed down to culminate a result that would be in your favor? And that's what we will be discussing today. So what this means is early intervention and lifestyle changes can halt and even reverse liver cirrhosis, transforming a once dire diagnosis into a manageable condition and offering hope for a healthier future. Hey, if you found some value so far, be sure to give us a big like. We appreciate you. All right, we will quickly just list a few conditions that can lead to cirrhosis before we get to who is likely or unlikely to reverse liver cirrhosis. And the most common causes are chronic viral hepatitis, chronic alcohol abuse, autoimmune hepatitis, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, genetic disorders, drug-induced liver disease, repeated infections, and the list goes on. There are other causes too, but these are just a few common ones. Okay, now to understand if liver cirrhosis can be reversed better, we have broken this topic down into six important parts. The first one is early stages of cirrhosis. In the early stages of cirrhosis, when the liver has not yet sustained extensive damage, there is a possibility of not only halting but even reversing the condition. Did you know that the liver has a remarkable ability to regenerate itself? Yes, provided that the underlying cause of injury is removed and supportive treatments are implemented. Some of the changes that would have to be made for optimal results are lifestyle changes like abstaining from alcohol, adopting a healthy diet, and losing weight if necessary can significantly improve liver health. Taking medications like antiviral medications for hepatitis B or C, as well as treatments for autoimmune hepatitis, can control and sometimes eliminate the underlying disease, allowing the liver to heal. Management of comorbidities such as treating diabetes, high cholesterol, and other metabolic disorders can greatly reduce liver damage and promote healing. Stage 2 is Advanced Stages of Cirrhosis. As cirrhosis progresses, the accumulation of scar tissue becomes extensive, leading to significant impairment of liver ability to function. However, at this stage, the damage is typically irreversible. There needs to be some functional liver tissue left to help rejuvenate the liver, but there are still medications to control symptoms such as itching, fatigue, and muscle cramps. Also, procedures to manage complications like variceal bleeding, ascites, which is the fluid buildup in the abdomen, and hepatic encephalopathy, which is a decline in brain function due to liver failure and toxin buildup in the blood. This outcome can be improved if you attend frequent checkups to monitor your liver function and catch any complications early. Thirdly, is the liver's regenerative capacity. The liver is unique in its ability to regenerate lost tissue. However, chronic damage over a long period, as seen in cirrhosis, diminishes this regenerative capacity, meaning the liver will no longer regenerate. So, successful management of the underlying cause, reduction of inflammation, and minimizing any additional liver stress, like alcohol consumption, can support liver regeneration for the most part only in the early stages. For our fourth part, we need to take a good look at emerging treatments. Medicine is always evolving. Research is ongoing into the use of stem cell therapy to promote liver regeneration and repair. This approach holds promise but is not yet a standard treatment unfortunately. Scientists are investigating drugs that can reduce or reverse fibrosis or scarring. These are still in experimental phases. For the fifth one we have liver transplantation. For patients with advanced cirrhosis, liver transplantation is often the only definitive and viable option. A successful transplant can replace the diseased liver with a healthy one, effectively curing the patient of cirrhosis. Getting on the transplant list early is important, because getting a liver can take time. 
challenges can arise, and liver cirrhosis management is a long-term process. Unfortunately, not all patients are candidates for transplantation due to factors like age, other health conditions, and the severity of liver disease. Now, the availability of donor livers is limited, thus leading to long waiting lists for transplantation. Number six on this list is prognosis and quality of life. Don't worry, we have positive news. Patients diagnosed with early-stage cirrhosis who undergo appropriate treatment and make lifestyle changes can often lead relatively normal lives with good liver function. We have a video on our channel which we will link to in the description about how to live with liver cirrhosis. Check it out because it's a helpful detailed guide you can use in your journey to health. And now for those with advanced cirrhosis, the focus is on managing symptoms, preventing complications, and maintaining the best possible quality of life. You must remember that liver cirrhosis is a complex condition with a prognosis that varies greatly depending on the stage at diagnosis and the effectiveness of treatment. Where it's reversible isn't a black and white answer, but one thing is for certain, early detection and intervention can potentially reverse or halt the progression of cirrhosis.